Shanda vlog. If you're new here, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. And for my subscribers, thank you so much for joining me once more. Big up yourself. So in today's video, I'll be answering a question that I've been asked many times and that is how to get a job in Japan. With regards to any other job, I don't know, but I can answer the question how to get a job, an ALT job that is in Japan because I am an ALT, which is an assistant language teacher. I teach English in schools in Japan. So I can only speak to that. With regards to any other jobs, I really don't know. So before I begin this video, please note that the process that I went through might not be the same process that you go through or you went through if you're already in Japan. but. Please note that most of the things are the same. It may not be in the same order, but I'm just detailing my process because persons have been asking, how did I get a job in Japan? So I'm just sharing this video because of that reason. Also, I'll be speaking specifically about the process with Interact because I am employed by Interact. So I'll speak about Interact, but the base requirement for any ALT job in Japan is a bachelor's degree, right? A bachelor's degree and a clean police record. So it doesn't have to be a teaching degree, it can be a degree in music, a degree in accounting, a degree in nursing, pharmacy, any degree. As long as you have a first degree, you can and a clean police record you can apply for a ALT job in Japan some companies do require a TEFL certificate I didn't have to do that with Interact and guys a process might have changed I did apply in 2019 which was just last year I know but you know processes get changed and updated all right so let's begin the process of applying for an LT job in Japan okay so if you are in the Caribbean or America and you are interested in working with Interact you will have to apply through LJC America and they are the recruiting body for Interact in Canada. I think Canada, I'm not 100% sure. I think Canada is included as well as America and the Caribbean. And as mentioned earlier, the two basic requirements are a bachelor's degree and a clean police record. So if you have those two, you can start the first screening. And I think it was an application with LJC America. So after doing the first screening or the application form, you will be contacted by the LJC America so team. So you will also be required to submit a resume at, with two references and those two references will be sent a form to complete. So before your application can be processed, those references will have to complete the reference Bar. Also be required to request your transcript. If you're a future graduate, you will need a status letter stating the date that you graduate and if you have already graduated, you will need the transcript. So that is the first screening. That is the resume, the transcript, as well as the application form. It might not be in the same order for you as it was for me, but that was my order. Alright, so after doing the first screening, which is the resume, the status letter or transcript and the application form, you will move on to the phone interview. My phone interview I thought would have been like a literal phone call, but it was we sent a link and we answered the questions and it was being recorded. We weren't like speaking to anyone. So we were presented with some questions and we were given a short time to think of an answer and just respond. And that response would have been captured or recorded and then submitted to the recruiting team. So after completing the phone interview, you will be invited to an in-person interview. 
so on that day you will have the interview as well as you definitely have to submit the status letter or transcript you will be taking pictures for your application as well as you will be doing a dem demo lesson so I was very nervous about my demo lesson because of course you have to present the demo lesson in front of all the other candidates that were that are present at the time in my case I think it was 15 or I don't remember but it was about 15 about 15 to 20 I don't remember the exact number well 15 to 20 of us and everyone was there steering while you're doing your demo lesson well they were actually participating rather because you're speaking to them as if they're the student and you're doing a lesson for an elementary school so you know it's a lot of chanting and moving and like do you like and they're like yes I do and like we're all adults but you have to do what you have to do right so I was very nervous about the demo lesson and um, it went well all the other candidates were very supportive so it went well for me okay, so right after the initial application the phone interview the demo lesson the transcript and the resume as well as the references right those will be collected and sent off to japan for processing so that's your full interview script or i don't know what they call it that's your full interview package that will be sent off and you'll just have to wait to be contacted by interact to see if they are willing to offer you a position i think it took about a month for me to get probably three weeks to get an offer and you'll be getting an offer from a regional company so I was placed in Interact North company so it depends on the company that you're placed in the regional company because some companies reach out really early some a little later so not because your friend is getting an offer and you're not that doesn't mean that you, you won't because each region deals with their interview and hiring process totally different and on their own time so you will just have to wait until you get your offer so after you're placed with your regional company you will be sent an offer and you have to accept the offer well it's not like you have to have to you have to accept the offer in order to be placed with a branch so i accepted that offer and I was advised to submit my police record so you will definitely need to send your police record after you have been placed with a regional pub. so after your police record is submitted and all other documents you will be sent tips from your regional company about preparing for Japan and what to pack and what to expect so those come in the form of monthly newsletters in this time your certificate of eligibility will be prepared by the office in Tokyo and sent directly to your address your home address in Jamaica so the certificate of eligibility, eligibility whatever, is what you will need to move forward because that is what you need to take to the embassy in jamaica and that's a japanese embassy in jamaica to process your visa so you can't go to the embassy until you get that certificate it usually takes a while to arrive so no need to fret as long as you are told that your application is being processed there is no need to fret so during that time it may be before you get the certificate of eligibility or after you will be sent emails about housing and phones and phone plans so with regards to housing you will be asked if you want a furnished house or an unfurnished housing or apartment you will be sent an email about mobile phones if you 
require a phone from the company and the cost the monthly cost as well as if you just need a sim card or if you just need a pocket wi-fi but you will get all those emails like about two or three months before moving to japan so you can make a decision and so after receiving your visa from the embassy it's usually three days to process it only takes three days and it's really cheap about three thousand jamaican dollars five hundred jamaican dollars after you receive that visa if you don't already have a visa a canadian or a US visa you will have to decide how are you going to get to Japan because there are no straight flights from Jamaica unfortunately to Japan you will have to go through Canada or the US or Panama I think Panama but you will have to make that decision and if you want to fly through Canada or US and you don't have a visa you have to go and apply for a regular visa or a transit visa but you will definitely need one of those if you're planning to fly through US or Canada also please be advised that you are required by Intera to bring 500,000 yen as your startup in Japan because you will need to pay three months rent plus deposit sometimes key money key money key money is a thing in japan and key money is a gift to the landlord for allowing you to stay at the apartment you're already paying rent and deposit but the key money <laughs> as i was like key money what the hell is a key money but it's just a gift and it can be as much as your rent there is no law as to how much key money is. I am glad that I didn't have to pay any key money. Some of my friends did. I felt bad for them, but I'm glad I didn't have to pay any key money. <laughs> oh my God, so you'll need uh, money to set up your apartment if you select an unfurnished ap apartment. You will have to buy furniture and so forth and you'll have to buy food before you get your first paycheck. So if you don't have the 500,000 yen though and you're coming with Interact, there's an option to get a loan of up to 250,000 yen from the company and then pay it back um, monthly. But that's optional. If you can afford that 500,000 yen which is about 650,000 Jamaican dollars for you and it sounds like a lot and it sounds frustrating but it's it's over the course of months because it's not like you're gonna apply this month and next month you're in Japan that's hardly ever the case it's usually a couple months before so it sounds like a lot but it really isn't the way it can be a lot because I had to wait about eight months seven eight months before I got to come here so finally after deciding what route you're going to travel to get to Japan you can go ahead and purchase your ticket 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 prices are terrible the cheapest I saw a ticket uh, when I was coming here was like 900 and something 900 and something US dollars which was about 130,000 ja Jamaican 120,000 Jamaican sorry at the time and that was like without bags you'd have to pay for bags separately I had to pay about 1,300 US for my ticket so along with that 500,000 yen which I didn't bring because I didn't have all of it I brought like about half you have to buy that expensive ticket and so forth so it sounds like a lot and it sounds stressful but if you can make it work and you want to get to japan you will make it work and i think that's all if you have any questions any other questions you can go ahead and leave that in the comment section below i did get a question on instagram about the japanese tests i didn't have to do it i think it's new we were prompted to start studying japanese 
but we weren't required to do a test. When we got here, we were told that we should do the test, but due to Corona, it was cancelled, so we really didn't get to do that level five, that that Japanese test. All right, so I think that is all for today with regard to the process of applying with Indarak and what you need. So if I left anything out, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. As I mentioned, I'm just talking about my application process. Yours might be different. I'm just doing this to help a few persons who ask about the process so they can, you know, have an idea of what it's like and what to expect with the application. And if you have come so far and you haven't subscribed, you know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe down below. And please share this video with your friends or whoever you think it might be useful to. I will see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay sweet, stay awesome. Goodbye.